I'm here to just get real for a little bit because I was watching um, an anime a little, like like a little bit before and I just kind and then I something happened in it that just kind of made me just like that sort of stuff happens in the world and. I want to support anybody who that has happened to. And that's the fact of being cheated on or your lover doing something sensual or sexual or anything that involves a relationship with uh, something like that with someone else. And I want to su support anybody that that's happened to but like being cheated on is a really big thing in, in the world um it's illegal actually if i remember i believe that's illegal one i think i think it's only illegal if it's happened and if you got if you're married or something, I forget how it works, the rights and stuff like that. But that's just a really, really fucked up thing because you're supposed to love each other and just, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend, and boyfriend, girlfriend, girlfriend, and all that stuff. Um, it's just like. It's a really fucked up thing that some people would do something like that to their, their supposed lover. And I would never do that to anyone. I'm a very caring guy. And if someone's doing that as a way to, to break up with someone, just, just say, hey, we, we need some time apart or something like that. Like something that does not involve doing anything like that with someone else, because that sort of thing is fucked up as hell, and no one should ever feel the pain of that. How I've actually felt the pain of that before. My previous girlfriend. Not, not the girl I'm dating right now, um, who's actually the girl that made one video of about what the situation that in like in October. But my previous girlfriend before that, um, in real life, her and her best friend kissed, which I it's like it's not as bad as like them having sex or something like that, it's not as bad. But it still did hurt and I was mad, upset for lots of time. Then like a month to like two weeks prior for me and her breaking up. Um like I was mad as hell when that happened. I was mad, set, upset, sad. Just so many emotions rushing through me at once. And I did, I did forgive her. One minute. Ugh. Yeah. Like I did, did forgive the girl in in the end, but it pretty much didn't matter. At that point, she, it's, it was obvious that she didn't. Really, she stopped loving me. Um. But there's that part of me that was just like, she still loves me, all right. Then the big. We need some. We need some time apart, game, and that was just fucking chaos. <laughs> You, you know, I, I think anyone that's had, had a girlfriend, boyfriend, something like that, has had that line said to them at least once in their life. 
you know, the cliche, you need some time apart. Where they try to pawn off that, hey, um, and, and you just need some time to, you know, re, re, re channel myself and stuff like that. When in the end, it's just, they just, they're just trying to say, it, break up with you. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 I hate when that, that happened to me, that relationship. But I guess, it's, also I guess with this video, um, it's not just gonna be, um, about cheating, I guess. It's also gonna be about breakups, because the, those sort of things fucking hurt. Hell, actually me and that girl breaking up was one of the major reasons why I stopped uploading for like, like, the end of, um, last at the end of last school year in Canada. So like May, I think. Um so like June, July bit of August. Um that was the main reason why I stopped uploading and then why I pretty much just dropped off the face of the earth. Um Because because of that happening, and then for like the longest time, even now, the effects of that happening just are still there. Um, I obviously don't love the girl anymore. I'm dating someone else, but done like like the events of that happening just. <sighs> Still come back to haunt me every once in a while, like once to twice a month. That that comes back to like haunt me, especially on Christmas. That was fucking stressful. Cause Christmas is our anniversary of that uh, the month uh, was our monthly anniversary for December, and it's. Uh, I had like this wor terrible fucking dream. It wasn't a nightmare, but it was still a shitty dream. So like that was chaos. But yeah. So, but back to like the situation of cheating, of being cheated on and stuff like that. I I know people who've been cheated on. Uh, who've been cheated on? I I know quite a few people. And it's just like just don't do it. Just don't cheat on someone. If you don't like me anymore, just fucking stay. You know, it's, it's, I'm like man, yeah. but fuck, like that's like the worst. Especially if you've been in, like a long-term relationship. Oh. <laughs> That has to be like the worst, one of the worst feelings in the world. Um, and just I don't want anyone to have to go through that pain. And so people who have and that watch my channel, not a lot of people do. Actually. As soon as I started putting up Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, my channel started picking up again. <laughs> um, but like to the people who do watch, like my who watch me at least like like occasionally, or um, that watch my off videos, that are videos that aren't Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, if you've had someone cheat on you or broken up with you, um, just. I pay, I, I pay, I pay respect to you, man, woman, person, and I hope that you do find someone that's worth in the end, because I, I'm not the type of person who believes in a lot of stuff, to be honest, but one thing I do believe in is that there is someone out there for you, anywhere, there's some, there's, there's someone out there for you, that's one thing I do believe in. Because I, well, because I don't think anyone deserves to die alone. Or, 
someone like that. I believe that there's so always there will always be someone out there for you. For you. And just keep pressing on and keep searching. That like just keep searching for that person and just hold on. Hang in there and just um just, just relax and keep, keep work and focus on good things in life. No. Or if you're still feeling feeling the effects of um, of the breakup or being cheated on, just go and do stuff you like. Go and listen to like your favorite music song, your favorite band, favorite singer. Play favorite video game. Play, you no, know, watch favorite anime. Um, hell, go and go and play some freaking Yu-Gi-Oh. That stuff. That the Yu-Gi-Oh is really relaxing. Or oh, or or sense. Also, um, speaking of sense, I know this is off, really off fucking topic, but. Sometime this week, I'm gonna be streaming Sims 4 as like a chill stream, you know. Um, yeah. Um. But. Other than that, I hope you hope you guys enjoy this video. Smash that like button down below. Sub. And. Stay strong. No. Stay happy, stay, stay happy, not crappy, and I'll see you dudes whenever I see you. It's good. Bye. Bye.